Welcome back everyone. As you probably guessed from the title and the intro, this is what we are going over today. This is the Liberty Agent Silencer. So it is one of their newest offerings. I've had this one in for about a year now and just full disclosure, Liberty did send it out for the review, but they do not see the video or anything like that beforehand. So there's some notable features about this can. Number one, it is a 5.56 can. You can shoot 22 in it, I'm sure. You can probably shoot 17 HMR, all of those calibers if you want to. And this can, actually, you can take it apart for cleaning, which I did before this video. So you guys should be seeing relatively cleaned up versions of the internals as we go through this video. Um, but lightweight can, just over six inches total, and it comes in without the hub compatible mount at 9.5 ounces. So how do they do that? Well, um, basically the materials are going to be titanium for the tube, as well as for the actual baffle stack, which is a monocore suppressor, as you guys can see from the picture of the stack here on your screen. So the tube itself, as well as the baffles, are going to be made out of titanium. Titanium. Our blast chamber down here is made out of Inconel. And then the actual hub adapter that it comes with is made out of steel, as is the end cap. So one of the benefits of the end cap that I didn't think about until I actually got it out on the range is that uh, obviously it's designed with some flow through properties. One of the benefits of that being stainless steel rather than titanium is that this can doesn't spark. So a lot of lightweight cans are made out of titanium, which just makes sense. One of the downsides of titanium cans is that they tend to spark a lot, especially in the beginning. As you shoot more rounds through them, it sparks less, but it always will spark some. So if you're concerned about flash hiding, uh, flash mitigation, etc., then that is something to note. This can, I didn't notice any flash or spark sparks at all throughout the testing and this can right now has well over 3,000 rounds through it on multiple different guns probably you saw some of them in the intro and obviously it is full auto rated we have tested that as well it has been just fine so with that we have some important stuff to do number one the actual decibel testing here it's one thing we can do on the channel that a lot of other channels can't because mil spec decimal this the mil spec decibel readers if i could actually speak are very expensive they are cost prohibitive but we invested in it and we get to bring you guys that content that said uh, this video here on this can right here is going to be free on my youtube and rumble channel however we are going to be headed over to mug club after this and talk about some other muzzle devices in particular muzzle devices that have been bought and sold for years in america yet the atf has recently deemed them to be suppressors and now they are asking for people to turn them over or prosecute them so we're going to get into all those details over on mug club that is going to be exclusive content since you know we have a lot of censorship here on youtube for example i can't show you how to take this can apart i can't show you how a hub mount works i can't show you how to install it on a rifle because that is verboten uh, but over there on mug club we can do all of those things so if you guys are interested in that type of content as well as content exclusive content from Steven Crowder, Alex Jones, the Hodge twins, Nick DiPaolo, uh, Brian Callen, and others. Definitely head over there. There should be a code here on your screen that will get you guys a free month as well. And with that, let's head out to the range and see what kind of decibel reduction we can get out of this silencer. All right, it's science time, kids. We have the rifle. It's a 16-inch mid-length gun. We have it 63 inches or 1.6 meters off the ground. And then one meter to the left, we have our meter and uh, we're going to see how it does we have some pmc 223 in there let's make sure we're good we're recording we are and uh we'll see how she does pretty consistent there at 166.5 All right, now they're gonna throw the can on. All right, everything is the exact same, just with the silencer on there. And there you go, all under 140. I realize it may be hard to see the meter numbers on there, guys. It's hard to record it with that screen being polarized like that, so is what it is. So as we just saw, over 30 decibels of noise reduction with this silencer on a 16 inch gun. Now I realize a lot of you don't have a frame of reference for uh, decibel reduction and what that really means in real life. So uh, I've done a ton of research on this and depending on the source, depending on whom you ask, which 
PhD in audiology. Uh, somewhere between three decibels and five decibels is what we perceive as a doubling in terms of noise as human beings. So if you think that going from say 130 to 135, we perceive that as a doubling in the amount of noise that we are perceiving, then that is a huge amount of noise reduction. Additionally, I think I mentioned it out there that all of those were under 140. Why is that significant? Well, according to OSHA, you can uh, have one exposure up to 140 decibels and not damage your hearing. That said, if you fire a bunch of shots that are all under 140, like 135 or whatever that is, you still will damage your he hearing because it is accumulative. But just know that is just kind of a number that a lot of companies shoot for in terms of sound reduction. So that way, if you're out hunting or something like that, you can safely do so without damage your hearing and requiring hearing protection. So uh, with that, a few things that we haven't talked about throughout the review. Number one is the mount. Like we talked about, it is hub compatible. That is the first that I know of anyway from Liberty Suppressors. I've been reviewing Liberty for a long time on the channel, so it is interesting to see their evolution in terms of their products. Um, now they offer this in three different configurations. So they offer it like we have here with the hub mount, which is uh, direct thread for half by 28. They also offer it with a chemo mount. Um, so that way you guys can use your chemo mount with the hub mount uh, from dead air. So that is a combination that you can get. And they also offer it with nothing in there, no hub mount, nothing like that, because I know a lot of guys out there have a ton of different hub mounts, hub accessories. So if that's the case and you don't want to buy the Liberty one, you can just buy the suppressor without it. And then that way you don't have to invest in, so in something that you already have a ton of. So those are the configurations that it is available in. Uh, additionally, we should point out that price point is going to vary depending on those, but they're all going to be MSRP roughly around the thousand dollar price point. So in terms of cost, it is not an inexpensive can. However, there's plenty of $1,500 and up silencers on the market, as many of you know. Um, so it's kind of in the middle in terms of pricing. Uh, pros of it, if you will, is going to be that it's relatively lightweight. So again, 9.5 ounces without the mount, which is pretty darn good. Just over six inches. When you actually add it onto the end of the rifle, you're going to be adding right around five inches because of the way barrels work that again, we can't show on YouTube. <laughs> Just trust me on that. It is true. Uh, so, and then the actual diameter here we should put on your screen, it is going to, going to fit under a lot of handguards. If you're someone who wants to mount it up underneath your handguard, this is a good option. It's not so wide that it's gonna be prohibitive with a lot of different options out there. And uh, what do I think of it overall? I think it's a really good silencer. Anything that's getting you 30 decibels at a weight like this, at a size like this, is a very efficient design. Um, so I think they did a good job over there at Liberty. And if it, meets what you're looking for in a can, then I would definitely check it out. Additionally, one thing that I kind of touched on in the beginning that I think a lot of people will like, especially since uh, nowadays a lot of people are talking about cleaning rifle suppressors, whether or not you need to do that is a video for another day. However, if you are someone who wants to clean your uh, suppressors, this is a lot easier to do than most of your uh, 556 dedicated cans. Most of them are not serviceable. This one, if you you know, work the threads the correct way, absolutely is. And speaking of that, I think I grabbed it. It does come with this tool here. Uh, so many of you who watch the channel a lot will know that I harp on wrench flats when it comes to silencers because with carbon, with heat, things get locked up. It absolutely does happen. It is a real thing. And um, this does not have any wrench flats on it, as you may have noticed. However, it does come with this. So that way, any of these surfaces here, if you need to wrench on them, you can. So in my opinion, it gets a pass because of that. So just your typical spanner wrench will work on there just fine um, to actually break free anything that may be stuck. And with that, guys, I think we're gonna close it out here on YouTube as well as on Rumble. If you guys like this type of video, Number one, follow me across all my social media because that is where previews of reviews will be coming out. Additionally, news, breaking news, pro 2A, anti 2A news, all of that stuff will be over there at my social media sites, particularly the non-meta ones where I am not censored. Additionally, if you guys like this video and you're not seeing two to four videos a week here on the channel and you have subscribed, you've hit the notification bell. First off, if you haven't done that, do those things. It tends to help. Uh, but you can sign up for my email at the website here on your screen. This email goes out once a month and it has all the videos since the previous email went out. So that way there's no big tech giant censoring your eyes from my content. Lastly, we have a daily deals email. This email goes out every day as the name indicates and it has six typically eight of the best deals that we find around the internet. If the item, whatever it is, ammo, optics, guns, suppressors, etc., if it is in that email on that particular day, 
that item, whatever it is, it's the cheapest that I know of on the internet because I've already, already done rather the price comparisons for you. So that way it saves you some time and some money. It's also a good meme in there that many people like, a good Pro 2A meme. And uh, you can sign up just for the memes. I will allow it. And with that, we're gonna close it out here on YouTube and Rumble and head over to Mug Club. We'll see you over there.